Good morning, everybody. It's 744. Are you ready to be zombified? Well, we have uh, somebody in our studio today who's all ready to zap it up with a few zombies. Hi, Jason. Brains. Oh, hey. Hi. How you doing, Ross? I'm good. This is Jason Stewart. He's doing his directorial debut with a new movie, The Darkest Dawn, Canada's first indigenous zombie movie. We, of course, hear at the most publicized back in December, January, that you were looking at the audition. You did. You've been great supporters. Yeah, and now you've filled in all those gaps, so you've got all your crew, you've got all your people ready to move. We are ready to go. We have our locations chosen. We have uh, agreements with those locations. We've got all of our cast uh, uh, chosen. Our crew is on board. We have uh, at least 40 people from all over, I'll say all over the world, but mostly locally, but all over the world that are participating in this, and uh, we're, we're excited. We're pumped. Give us a little tight plot line, not uh, not to give away too much, but give us a bit of a plot line about this movie. Well, this is, this is the teaser trailer, the first 20 minutes of a feature-length film. And in the feature-length film, uh, our main character, Dwayne Pelche, finds himself returning back to the community that he was taken from when he was just a mere baby. He has no connection to his culture, no understanding, really, that he's First Nations. Uh, and he finds himself, uh, through no real choice of his own, uh, on the reserve that he was born on uh, amidst a zombie apocalypse. So he has to reunite with people that he has pretty much never met before um, and, and stay alive, find a way of, uh, of, uh, of, of getting the word out there that there's this major crisis that's happening while at the same time meeting some, some very interesting characters along the way. Excellent. And uh, as you said, you've got your auditions all done. And uh, But now there's another side of it. There has to be, of course, everything needs to be financed. Of course. And you're looking for supports from the local community? Most independent movies are self-generated, self-funded, and uh, there's not a lot of money out there for this type of a project. So we are we are looking to raise some funds for it. Um, we're looking to raise around $15,000 to to film this August. We only have around a month and a half, two months, before we hope to go to camera. Uh, right now we're on one fifteenth of the way, and that's why we're on the radio today, to appeal to people to support our, our local project. Because it's, it, is, it is entirely non-profit. No one gets paid a penny for this. Uh, and uh, you, you help to tell a story. This is the first time an indigenous zombie movie has ever been made in Canada. The first time that these these stories have all been merged together. And uh, it's not just a campy schlock, gory fest. It's it, it's it's got a it's a story with substance. It's a story that is uh, is uh, interesting and uh, and needs to be told. And it just happens to be with a zombie background. So we hope people will get in, in, in excited by it. Either they love zombies. Or they love telling good stories, or they're very interested uh, in, in uh, Native culture and Native uh, stories and uh, uh, wanting to work through some of these issues that, uh, that we as a, as a nation are working through. Um, or they just like to help people achieve their dreams, and this is one of my bucket list dreams. All righty. Now, you brought in a piece of artwork. Want to I do. Want to talk a little bit about it? Well, I have this uh, piece of artwork that I did. Uh, it's called The Fire Within. I started painting it a few years ago, um, and it's based on an Ojibwe uh, story that an elder was telling me about how everyone has a fire within themselves, and you either maintain it, or you let it burn out, or you let it flame up, and it comes out in anger. Uh, so this painting is uh, representative of that, and we're going to be giving it away to uh, one lucky person who uh, over the next two days, donates any amount to to our Indiegogo campaign. So that could be $5, it could be 5000 but uh, you get your name in a draw for this uh, one-of-a-kind painting. And where can they make a donation? They can go to judgmentfilms.com and all of the uh, donation options are there. You can donate uh, through our Indiegogo campaign or send us a check or we'll pick it up. We will do anything to get your money. Anything, again, $5 and up. And uh, the Moose will also be partnering with Jason and uh, to help him out. After the Father's Day promotion, which is going really, really well, who's your daddy? Excellent. Uh, we will uh, run an Impossible Trivia Challenge for two to three weeks. That will be zombified, so you better look into your zombie research, Moose fans. Thank you so much for coming in, Jason. My Good luck pleasure with the as project. always. We look forward to working with you. Fantastic. Thanks, Ross. All righty.